How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are going to be putting head to head Binary Edge versus Shodan. Now I've not made a video about Binary Edge yet but for those that don't know what Binary Edge is it is a similar very similar to Shodan where it scans the internet and allows you at home to search all of the information that it scans for. And it also has a honey potting service that is kind of similar to what you'd expect on gray noise. So I measured uh, who wins this competition on a few KPIs, key point, key something. KP I use that term all the time. I forget what it stands for. Uh, we are going off uh, which account allows you to uh, search their service for free. Uh, their API, if it has good documentation and all the different searches you can do with the API, whether or not it has a Postman collection or something similar to Postman. Ease of use, is it easy to use one service or another? Again, that's just gonna be personal choice. Uh, some examples, uh, example searches that they give you. Searching, you know, which one provides a fast search, which one provides you more results. Uh, On-demand scanning um, and reporting tag filters uh, for free and enterprise accounts, uh, community support, integrations with other products, how fresh results are, and service and port enumeration uh, as far as them giving you a list of what they support. Now, this one was a tough one. This was a really close race, and honestly, both of these products stand out, uh, and they each are you know worthwhile, uh, and they both do what they do fairly well. Now, Starting off with the free account. The free account, basically the way I measure this is does it cost money to use their service whatsoever? Shodan, they do give you one page of search results. You can't use any filters, no tags, no nothing. You could just search an IP address or just a search term and you only get one page of results, uh, but you don't have to sign in or sign up. Uh, Binary Edge, you do have to sign up, but it is free. I don't believe there is a $50 one-time lifetime membership uh, dealio, but the free account does give you uh, the same results you should expect with the $49 lifetime membership with Shodan. So Binary Edge wins that point. Now for API, I went off a few things here, the ease of use, the documentation, and all of that, uh, and examples they give you. Uh, this one, Shodan won because they do give you example searches and it does support methods or a diff it does support things like curl, uh, their Shodan CLI, as well as Python. And what that allows you to do is actually take that example search and throw it into, uh, their, your, you know, your terminal or throw it into a Python file and you're able to run it as well as the creator of Shodan has a whole list of Python searches on their GitHub repo, which I will make sure to put in the show notes down below. So for the API, that goes to Shodan. Now there is a sub point here uh, as far as Postman or similar to Postman collection that is officially supported by the vendor itself. Now for those that are not familiar with Postman, that is just a giant collection of API searches you can use and it's in a graphical user interface and that allows you to take whatever search you made in Postman and export it into curl, wget, whatever sort of um, language you want to use. And in this case, since there is really no official Shodan Postman collection, there is one ran by Binary Edge and it's actually a, a swagger collection. I'm not sure if you call it a collection or not, but there is an official one by Binary Edge and I'll make sure to put a link to that down below. So Binary Edge does win that point. Now for ease of use, I kind of use this from a beginner's perspective. Again, this is totally my opinion and you can't really measure this in a scientific way. Uh, so for ease of use, I gave this to Binary Edge for documentation purposes because they do have a list of all the filters you can use on their website and they give you examples of all of the ones. So an example search and whether or not that search requires a Boolean, an integer, or if it's a string, Shodan does give you a list of all of their filters, but they only give you a few example searches here and there. I'll be honest, I've been using Shodan a lot more than I've been using Binary Edge, and there's a few filters on Shodan that I just don't even know how to use. Not because I wouldn't know how to, but I just don't know what it takes. I don't know if it's a string, an integer, or what an example parameter looks like. Um, like for example, there's a tat or a filter on Shodan called device. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Like phone, what, what does that exactly mean? 
Uh, you are able to find that through facet analysis, but just from a beginner perspective, that one hands down goes to binary edge. Uh, and then a second point goes to uh, binary edge for providing examples for their search filters. Uh, that goes a long way from a beginner's perspective. Now for searching, I measured this uh, through the speed of the results you get, as well as the number of results you get. Uh, I searched the entire internet. So on Shodan, I use net 0.0, .0 all the way across slash zero. That covers the entire internet space. And I did the same thing on binary edge. Now Shodan wins a point here because the, the how quick the results came back was quite shockingly fast. Uh, I think it only took a few seconds for Shodan to spit out all of the results that it has that it's ever captured on the entire internet. Uh, but it did take a little bit longer for Binary Edge to do the same exact search. So I gave a point to Shodan for speed, but there's a caveat. Uh, Binary Edge wins the number of results you get back versus Shodan. I believe Shodan only gave a couple hundred million results and the number of results you got on Binary Edge was in the billions. So that might be a reason why Binary Edge was a tad bit slower than Shodan. Um, well, I shouldn't say tad bit. It was significantly slower than Shodan. So uh, Shodan wins the point for speed and the number of results hands down goes to Binary Edge. Uh, now going on to reporting. Now, when I say reporting, I mean, when I do a search on either of these platforms, I want to see what that search looks like uh, from a facet point. So I want to see the number of countries it's impacting, which ports are open, blah, you know, just these, all these filters in a single pane report. This is an executive level report that I should just be able to copy paste, throw it into a, a you know, weekly report or whatever, threat and tell brief, and just give it to them as is. Uh, Shodan provides us with every single search you use. Uh, all you have to do is click on view report and it gives you a breakdown of that search or that search string uh, against all these different facets. And didn't really appear that Binary Edge gave uh, really anything. It does give you like uh, a breakdown of how many results are in each country kind of, but it doesn't really give you anything as close to as granular as Shodan. So the uh, uh, number of results we got, um, or sorry, the, the reporting hands down goes to Shodan. Now going on to on-demand scanning. Uh, so what on-demand scanning means in the sense of using these products, it means that you have a paid account. So a $50 account or the free account, uh, and you're able to launch scans on pretty much any IP address or network range that you want. Um, and right away, I mean, going through the Shodan CLI documentation, they do support that with the $49 account and you're able to launch those scans. Now you can do this on binary edge, but it only appears that you're able to do this with an enterprise account or a $49 a month account. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick. Uh, the pricing for binary edge after the free tier is actually $10 a month and not $50 a month. Um, but with that account, you do not get uh, access to on-demand scans. Uh, so just wanted to make that clear, 10 bucks a month, not 50 bucks a month. On with the video. So not $49 for a lifetime membership, but a month. Uh, it does appear that you ha you could do that on that account, but you cannot do that on the quote unquote free account. Uh, so on-demand scanning hands down goes to Shodan, but Binary Edge does support on-demand scanning. You just have to pay for it. Uh, moving on to tag filters. Now tag filters, or, or tags or filters uh, in the sense that we're talking about is the ability to search things like ICS or compromised systems. Shodan does support tags uh, and I'll have like a giant list of all the tags it supports, uh, but you cannot use the tag filter uh, on the $49 account. You can actually, you can actually use that search filter, I believe on anything other than the enterprise account. What Shodan does not provide pricing information for uh, you have to contact their sales team, but they are there uh, for Binary Edge. You do have access to tags for uh, ICS, malware, and a few other ones on there with the free account. Not the, you know, again, the $49 a month account, but the free account. And it does actually break down the results by the product. So hands down for free, uh, for the free 
personal use account for using tags, that goes to Binary Edge. Uh, but for enterprise accounts, that one hands down goes to Shodan because the amount of tags that you're able to use uh, on Shodan. So moving on, uh, community support. So this one was actually pretty disappointing. I was looking for like a community, you know, form similar to what you would expect on Qualys. Uh, so like with Qualys, you're able to sign in and use their Salesforce page and chat with other people that use Qualys and ask questions and answer questions and such like that. It doesn't appear that any of these products have that. Uh, they both have blogs. Shodan does have a more updated blog than Binary Edge. Uh, the last post on Binary Edge's blog was over a year ago, uh, but neither of them really have a, um, a community page hosted by them. Uh, Shodan does get more chatter on Twitter, uh, but I'm not considering that because it's not really hosted by Shodan. So actually neither of these products get a point because both of them don't support any sort of community form. But if there is one, uh, please leave a comment down below because these uh, the, the scoring is uh, dynamic and it can change over time. Uh, but in this case, uh, doing my search, I have yet to find a single community uh, that's supported by either of these products. So zero points awarded there. Now, integrations with other products. Now, working in a security operations center, this is one of the things that you really look for, uh, whether or not the product that you're, you've currently procured ties into a product that you have procured over here. So an example would be, does Shodan integrate well with ServiceNow or Jira or whatever ticketing system you have? Um, so that's an integration right there. Uh, searching Shodan, they just have a giant list of integrations they have. They have things, or they integrate with Recorded Future, Multego, ServiceNow. They just have a giant list, and I'll put a link to that down below. And I really couldn't find anything for Binary Edge. They do have, like, a few blogs here and there that say, like, we integrate with this, but it's not just a giant rolling list of what they're supported with. And to be honest, if I was an enterprise customer and I have ServiceNow procured, I want to know if I'm going to be purchasing either Binary Edge or Shodan, like, can I use this with the other tools that I have? And in this case, I couldn't find really much for Binary Edge. So that one, hands down, goes to Shodan. Now, how fresh are the results? Now, both of these services, uh, contrary to what some people believe, are not instant results. When I search 8.8.8.8 on Shodan, it's not scanning that IP address or whatever IP address you punch in, it's not launching a scan against that IP address. That's where on-demand scanning happens or whenever their I, uh, their scanners hit that IP address. So those results aren't necessarily the freshest results. Your freshest results are going to be from running an Nmap scan yourself. Uh, but for the most part, I do want to see how often they scan, commonly scanned for, commonly checked IP addresses. Uh, and Shodan has proven to scan pretty much the top IP addresses one would usually check for to see if they're online. So Quad8 and Quad1, uh, Google DNS and Cloudflare, they've scanned those IP addresses alone like hundreds of times today and updated their website with that information. Um, now those ports or those IP addresses aren't really that interesting. So I went ahead and found a few IP addresses on gray noise and plugged them into both Binary Edge and Shodan. Binary Edge did provide some results for a new IP address, but I mean, it's either here nor there. Um, the one thing that Binary Edge kind of lacked on is when I searched, you know, Google DNS and Cloudflare, it hasn't scanned those IP addresses in weeks. So points definitely awarded there to Shodan because anytime someone launches an on-demand scan against an IP or an IP range, it updates the public side as well. So if I was to launch an IP scan against my own IP range, uh, and that scan finishes, not only do I get those results, but everyone else that uses that service also gets those results using the portal. So hands down, Shodan wins that point. Now, the very last one, port enumeration. So what does Shodan scan for? What does Binary Edge scan for? Now, I'm only talking about ports here, not necessarily services, so I'm only going to stick to ports. And Shodan wins this hands down. They have an API call you can make to see the entire list of ports they scan for. They don't scan every single port out there, but they do scan a giant chunk of ports. Um, well, not a giant chunk. There's 65,535 ports. Shodan scans for 1,230-ish ports. And I really couldn't find anything on Binary Edge, what ports they scan for. I was able to find like a few ports here and there on Graynoise. 
uh, but it doesn't, I, I, I can't find anything on their website directly. So I'm not sure. Again, like I said, the score is dynamic. So if anyone at Binary Edge has an answer to that, uh, you know, the, the, this could be an even, an even score right here, but I have to word that to Shodan mainly because they just have a list out there. Uh, I know binary edge scans for, I would say similar amount of ports, maybe more, but I don't, it's hard, hard to say without knowing what they scan for. So the total or the final score is Shodan has eight points and binary edge has six points. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that, that that was a very close one so uh again like i said shodan has eight points and binary edge has six so congratulations shodan for having uh the service that wins the online port scanning service battle that no one asked for but i went ahead and made the video on it anyway so anyways that is it for this video if y'all enjoy content like this please hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. Um, I still got a few videos I still want to make. I, I I thought of this on the plane. I'm like, that's a really good video. I'm sure people are interested. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. Wow. Anyways, um, I did pick up my Tesla. So, a Tesla Model 3 Performance. I might make a video on that. I might completely sell out this whole channel. Delete all of my OSINT and security videos and just make Tesla videos. No, I'm not going to do that. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? We'll we'll see how the we'll see we'll see how the uh, my first Tesla video pans out as far as monetization wise. Anyways, uh, one thing: if you are interested in sponsoring any of my videos, link down below. I am taking sponsorships or one-time video shoutouts or anything like that. So, anyways, y'all take care. Goodbye. All the time.